Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I will be looking at the Rip Flash recordable MP3 player. What is included in this package is the manual, the driver CD as well as software, as well as the USB cable, earbud style headphones, a line in cable, two AAA batteries, a carry strap, as well as the unit itself. One thing for sure about this particular product, it's loaded with features. I'll just go over now some of the buttons that are on the unit. Right here at the bottom middle is the play. Right here is the menu key. To the right of that is the record key. The stop right here. Rewind here. Forward here. Right here we have a mic as well as a speaker here at the top. On the left hand side here we have a volume up and down. The left hand top we have a place to attach that strap. On the right hand side we have a hold key right here as well as at the top we have a equalizer as well as a repeat function key right there. Now you'll notice here as well there is a place to put a smart media card. So if you want to add even extra memory this unit does come with 120 eight megabytes internally but you can actually add this externally to here there's also an eject button here for that media and at the bottom here is a place to put the batteries and now going to the top you'll notice that you can put the USB cable here to the left as well to the right the green is the place to put the headset as well to the left of that is where the in cable goes Starting this unit is very simple. Just go ahead and press the play and then we'll go to the last song you left off from. Now you'll also notice here and here that there is a speaker as I mentioned before on this. So you don't necessarily need a headset on this. If you wanted to listen to the music without the headset you could. Now it's not that great of course because it's a little tiny speaker but still it gives you that ability to be able to listen to the music without using the headset. Now, if you go ahead and stop here. As you can see here, I press the stop key. It stops the song. It also, as you can see here, shows you the bit rates of the songs. I've got some songs dumped on this unit. You can see here different songs have different bit rates. Also at the top here, you'll see that there is a volume button to the right and of course increasing or decreasing that increasing or decreasing the volume as well as I mentioned before the top right hand corner there's a repeat button you can basically repeat all repeat one song and you can do a, sh a shuffle a uh, random play so it's it's very functional also down here in the uh, bottom left hand corner where I did mention that there was a menu key there's also an A B key now what this does is basically allow you to choose what songs you want arrange for instance so let's say I wanted three to six. So go ahead, punch up three, press play, click A. You can see here that A is flashing. Now go to the last song. Let's go to six. Once you're there, you can press B. And now what that will do is play songs only three to six. Also here we have a choice of equalizer. You can choose jazz, you can choose rock, you can choose pop, or you can choose classic. Let me now go through some of the menu options on this product. Click it once here, you'll go into a mode called sync. This is basically an encoding mode. If you press it here, you can go ahead, let me go back to that again. And if you press right here, you can go sync. Sync basically means record one by one file until stop until you stop it and there's also another feature here called one sync and these appear at the top right here in the display one sync means recording only one file and of course if you have no icon up here basically there is basically going to be recordings of several files into one large file until you actually stop now the next feature here in this menu is called VAD. This is basically voice audio detector. There is a detector on this, a mic right here, technology built into this, which will allow the unit to turn on and off depending on noise. And it's great 
if you're recording, for instance, in a meeting situation where you want to record every single conversation that's going on, certainly wonderful if you want to record even your own conversations throughout the day, and it will only record when it detects noise. So that's a very, very cool feature here. And you can turn it on and off again by selecting off or selecting on. Next feature here is bit rate. Now, there's two features here. You can either go to the line, which would be the line in. So you can have a line in on this, an external mic if you wanted to. And you can adjust here. You can see the bit rate changing as I scroll through it here. So you can set whatever record bit rate you want. And if I click menu again, you can see here that the mic, internal mic appears. So you can actually use the internal mic recording on this and actually do a recording right onto here and, of course, play it back to the speaker at the very top. And another thing here in this menu is called SL. This is basically a mode which is sync detection level. You can set, set this to high or you can set it to low as well as medium. So that's a good feature certainly as well. Now here we have the internal memory and you can see that it's 128 megabytes. If you had external memory, of course, you could go to that and see what size of the memory was on that particular smart media card as well. Now, you can record from an internal source, the mic, or the external source, of course, the line in. And going on here in the menu, you'll also see that you can delete through this device, which is great, internally, or if you want to, again, delete from the smart media card here, which is on the back, you can go ahead and select that device. For instance, if I wanted to delete a song here, let's delete song 7. You could go ahead and say, yes, I want to delete it. Say yes again, and it's basically deleted. Now, setting up this unit is very simple. Basically, plug it in. It's plug and play, USB, so it's very, very simple to install. One thing you have to do, though, is remember to install the software first and then plug it in and then the system will recognize it and you should not have any problem connecting it and the unit being detected by your operating system. Now going over here on the left hand side I'll just go some of the key features here on this what's called the MP3 manager. The top left here is download button. The next one's an upload, erase, erase all format and a refresh. Of course you can quit the program here. You can also play and stop programs from here. And down here at the bottom you will notice that there is sizes and these file sizes depend upon what you click upon as well as how much stuff you've used, how much memory you've used and of course you can select either the internal memory or the external memory if you have some and you can see as well the statistics on that. Now on the right hand side here this is what is actually on the player now. This is my directory on my computer system and this is what's in particular directory that I was into. Now very very simple to delete songs of course just select the song over here and just go ahead and erase it you can also also of course if you want to format the whole thing as I mentioned before go over here and just use the format button transferring files from your computer system to this product is extremely simple just basically drag and drop now transfer rates will depend upon file size and of course file size is dependent upon the bit rate the recorded bit rate on the mp3 let me now transfer a 700k file so that's a very small file. You can see here how fast it does transfer that file. And now let me transfer a 5.5 megabyte file from my computer system to the product. And of course this file size is quite larger than the 700K. You'll see here it does take a little bit longer, but still certainly very acceptable. Overall this is one excellent product. Consider these facts. It's an MP3 player. It has 120 megabytes internal. You can put as much as you want in smart card media externally. Also, of course, it's small. It's compact. The software is easy to install. Plugging this in is very, very simple to get it connected. Transferring files is relatively fast, depending, of course, how many files you are transferring. And not only all that, of course, you can record audio directly into this from the in or through the mic. You can also, of course, play back, whether it's your own voice or someone else's voice, or the audio you recorded, whether it be 
just the voice audio or external audio through the mic or internally through the MP3. You can actually listen to it using the speaker that's on this unit. So overall, this is.